I'm very grateful Long Slider didn't take very long, because I was fully anticipating that taking uh, about that full 28 minutes, honestly. That worked? Okay. I feel like I got party balled into the tape there, because I feel like that was a really, like, off the ground clear, and you don't normally see those in Banana Mania. You can see them a lot in uh, Monkey Ball 2 and stuff, because you go through goals at really weird angles, and the physics engine is, like, slightly different. I think I'm going too fast. Oh, nice. I guess he didn't have the music on for World 1 before. This stage is a pain in the ass too, actually. Because this stage is moving around like this. And also... All of the little balls inside of it are too. <laughs> Honestly, timing out once on that stage, not that bad. That stage is annoying, so I will take only one time out on that stage. Oops, I counted wrong. I normally don't die this much on this stage, but this stage is pretty tricky because you have to remember uh, when to actually shuffle one to the bottom one. So straight, 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 whoosh. Okay. The tiny corgi we saw! Oh my goodness. I screamed, how is it so tiny? She did. Oh my god, it was so small. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Nope. Whew. Somehow I managed to jump straight up and then land back on the same platform, which normally doesn't happen, so... I'll take that. This stage is tricky to preserve momentum up the last ramp, from what I remember. Never mind. Um, so this stage is interesting because you basically see this weird structure in front of you and the goal like above you right here. Um, and then this teleporter takes you to the top of the structure where you have to like fall off in almost like a plinko like Chinko, whatever machine where they drop it at the top and it like falls all the way down. That was a really weird camera angle from like inside the block. I've been getting some weird camera angles this game for some reason. Almost. I keep getting a really big vertical hop that I'm not intending on getting. Well, it saved me there, so we'll take it. Oh, hey, it's Pachinko. The thing I was just talking about. <laughs> Forgot there was a bonus stage literally called that. I 
I forgot there's actually no play button in the bin. Okay. Turns out if you just go towards the middle, it doesn't rotate quite as much. So we're out of that stage at least. That stage is kind of a pain, so I'm happy to be out of that one. These saws and then expects you to get back to the start, which is actually pretty hard to do because that little drop off at the start means that you have to like have the second seesaw at a pretty uh, intense ledge to be able to climb all the way up. Yeah, the past this blue coal is another uh, seesaw, basically. I think it might actually even be harder, too. Um, but definitely at least another one, if not harder. Yeah, much sooner than that. I realized, like, halfway through that that was actually in the last staircase, but I wasn't able to slow down enough. So it's only four. Then for some reason I thought it was five. Going fast, slow down. Okay. My palms always get a little sweaty at the end of that one. I don't like steep stairs, and I don't like stairs without rails, and that's all that stage is. <laughs> okay. That stage is weird because it's on like a swinging thing but the way it swings uh the radius actually gets like slowly larger um so you end up just kind of picking a spot on the ground and either the goal hits you or the goal does not hit you and you win <laughs> trying to chase after that stage in particular doesn't normally end up working at least in my experience So that little curve right there is actually at the same awkward incline that the rest of the stage is at. So even though it looks like it's super flat, it's actually more like that all the way around. Um, and the upper tiers just give you a steeper angle and a less thick rail to work off of. I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy. It's okay. I wasn't expecting you to carry the stream or anything. It's okay. This last rail, very thin. Half a tile, not very much room to bounce off of there, but feels nice to jump like that. This stage is actually uh, in story mode, one of the first stages that I got every um, apple in. It is very, very difficult to get that rail right there <laughs> fast. Uh, that's to get through here.
this stage looks very intimidating. And it, it kind of is, but not super intimidating. Because first things first, there's a bunch of switches. But the switch path remains the same every time. So once you've learned the switch path once, you can kind of just go through the level. And even if you hit the wrong switch, all it does is knock you onto the bottom floor. So you just go back and start again. Um, that one of the or that's one of those stages that is honestly kind of a pain in the ass to like learn. But once you know it, it's not really that bad at all. I clicked an ad. No. Ah. Uh! I love this ad. It was for migraines at least, I guess, but just go away. I, I, I mean, not the worst thing you could have checked in on, I guess. I, I do get migraines, but I don't get that. I haven't had a migraine in a while, actually. Yeah. Alright. I'm glad I switched over to the Banana Mania music because I feel like I haven't shown off how good the soundtrack actually is. This is the soundtrack that comes with the game. Uh, previously we've been playing the DLC music uh, that are the Monkey Ball 1 and Monkey Ball 2 like original tracks and stuff. Uh, this is the music that the remaster came with and honestly as you can tell from every song so far it's pretty good music. Uh, it has a different vibe for sure from the original Monkey Ball music, but I think that's a good thing. Like, there's no reason why we can't just have both. <laughs> and then just have more good Monkey Ball music. This is actually another stage that's pretty fun to get all the bananas on because you end up having to run all the way around the stage and collect everything first. Uh, the stage where the dominoes are actually like falling and in the way, like that specific turn is kind of a pain, but like the rest of the stage isn't really. So like that turn right there where you actually saw the dominoes falling, uh, that's really the only uh, difficult spot. I died there because I like bonked into the side of an upcoming one, but. Okay, just take your time, take your time. And the reason you have to do that is because otherwise the goal's floating up in the air. Um, and to my knowledge, you can't hit it while it's up there. You might be able to do some weird, like, lep bounce thing. Uh, but I am not amazing at those, so <laughs> we'll just do a vanilla. Oh. That was some nice pops. Oh, there's a double. Back to back. I can tell the first one wasn't all the way. Side, the body was like, nope. Handle those first. Just, just chill on those first. Handle side. those first. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. I was almost sure I was going to get bonked off, and I almost did. Y'all see how close I was to it. <laughs> see a giant sieve coming. Oh, 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 no. Yep. How did you. Barely. Okay, so I think I mapped out this stage, and as long as I take all of the diagonals as early as I'm able to, I should be okay. That is the the one right at the 30 second mark, I guess, is the one that I gotta be careful of. I wonder if he could actually make that first cycle if you just book it.
think I'm cutting it close here, but I should be okay. Yeah, okay. I think I might have even had one more cycle to go up and down if I like really needed it, but... This is a stage that's always confused me as a kid. And I guess I'll go up here to show why. There's like... There's apples on the outside of this spiral, but there's like literally no reason to take the outside of the spiral. <laughs> like typically if there's like something on the outside of the spiral, that means there's like a hidden goal on the other side. But y'all can see there's like nothing on the outside of the spiral, so you just basically end up dying if you somehow get all the way to the end. <laughs> No! <laughs> How did that not work? What? <laughs> How? I watched Hello Kitty's Gravity almost break that tape. I just saw it. I don't understand. <laughs> it was just like, eh, no. <laughs> Come on. That was bullshit. Okay. Just go faster through the goal so that bullshit doesn't happen again. And we're good. Alright. Hierarchy is an interesting stage. Uh, so I want to go down in this stage. And the only way to go down is to fall down through these, like, holes that get bigger and bigger at each stage. And basically what you want to do is you want to have, like, a little bit of forward momentum... And then, like, very quickly hook over. Uh, this is another one of those stages that takes fucking forever to learn. Because if you're doing the story mode, this is the first time where you really have to, like, fall and then move the stage under you to be able to go where you need to go. Um, and until you learn that skill, this game is very difficult. <laughs> it's still very difficult even after you learn it, but... Stuff at least starts to make a little bit more sense once you know that you can do that. A little bubbly one. Yeah. Um. I'm being yawning. I feel terrible. Yo! I don't actually want the green goal, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want to do warpless, so I'm going to fall down from the green goal to the red goal. Which is even harder to do, actually, because you basically have to do the thing that you did in Hierarchy and, like, loop back around. Okay. Um, I actually almost got the red goal after saying how I had never gotten it before, so that's funny. so sleepy I don't know <sighs> I'm over here like can we take a break but we haven't been live that long yeah I've only been live like an hour I guess it's closer to an hour and a half but I, I should be more in line to take a break whenever I'm done with this I think with this uh expert run is it a pretty long So I guess after I beat this stage, we'll just take the break. Uh, we're going to take a little bit early of a break compared to normal because <sighs> done sleepy. I so, can't stop yawning. Yeah, she keeps yawning. So. And I feel awful about it because earlier I saw this email and I hovered over it and it made me yawn. And then I felt bad in case that made anyone else yawn and it just I've yawned ever since. I hope you're having a good day, Cam. It's lovely to see you. Okay. Got that so goal. why is it not showing my gifter badge? Show my gifter badge! It won't. Soft cream's a pretty tricky one. We'll give it one shot before we uh, take a break here real quick. Basically, this one, you need to be in the middle of the spiral and sustain... 
Although my clip show is definitely weird still compared to Bun's, because I still have to load it up in Firefox every time. Yeah, I'm not sure why yours is like that. Hopefully we can figure it out. Yeah. Like, I don't know what we did to mine to make it work. That was different. There is someone else talking on the stream, Nightbot. You're Woo. right. It's me. I was talking right now. Wow. Yeah, it's Bun. All right. We beat Soft Cream. I don't remember what the next stage is. Momentum? Okay. This one's a fun one. Uh, we'll chill here for a bit. Uh, I hate to leave y'all in the middle of an expert run, but... Uh... Alright, we're back. Um, thanks for hanging out, and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the clips. I actually saw a couple of new ones in there when I was watching over breaks. So I'm yeah, excited about that. Yeah, we were that. really enjoying the clip show. You might even say it's getting good. You might. Not gonna lie, y'all, I was a little self-conscious about it for a while, because, like... I mean, like, why would anyone want to hear our couch thoughts? <laughs> what? Random what people on the internet want to talk to you? Why would they want to listen? Like, I just was so confused. I didn't get it. <laughs> why would they and, now, <laughs> and now you do it full-time. You want a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> for what? <laughs> Yeah, now I do it full time. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was getting party balled there. Party ball actually saved me that time. Thanks, bun. I gotta go farther in to avoid dying and then go forward to try to catch that platform. You just said the word vertex and it reminded me of when I used to work at the school and like they started teaching kids what vertices are like in kindergarten when they start teaching you what shapes are they'll be like three or a triangle has three sides and three vertices right and I remember I worked in a second grade class and the teacher was like teaching the kids or not teaching the kids about vertices but like you know we were talking about the shapes and their sides and vertices or whatever and then he said singular vertis and i vertis. just I, I emphasized it so weird and it took everything in me not to shout you mean vertex <laughs> my name's vertis i just Curtis with a V. <laughs> I just needed to have that nerd moment. Did he say vertice? Did he say vertice or vertis? Now I don't know. He had, he maybe said vertice. <coughs> as far as the vertice. Never all right. Been to so there. this stage is a pain in the ass because if you slow oh. down at all, you're dead. Can't see the raid, can't see the raid, but yeah, hi J Dub. Thank you for the raid. Hi Cheeseburger. Hi J Dub. How's it going? What were you up to? How I see SMW. How did it go? What, what were, were you doing? playing? Uh that stage that I just got through, by the way, is actually a stage that in story mode completely bodied me for a while and became the first stage that I actually had to practice in this run. Um oh yeah, Cam, it's definitely still wrong, but I do wish that I remembered what he said. Um, we were having a, a math nerd moment. Yeah, <laughs> good timing, Jada. Great, uh, great timing, truly. Peachy Mo got a regular mode clear and good. I kind of gave up, honestly. Sonic did good. Sonic did do good. 
You can actually play as Sonic and Tails in this game, too. You can play as a Sega Dreamcast if you want to. <coughs> you sure can. There were far more options of what you can play as than I was ever aware of, because all I knew was Hello Kitty was an option, so you're playing as Hello Kitty. We love Hello Kitty in this house. Yep, as y'all can tell. We are Sanrio <laughs> fans here. Sanrio stands. Yeah, Stan that would have been... Wow, that was a very missed opportunity. Whew. Okay, one shotting swing shaft is actually pretty hard because that stage is kind of a pain in the ass. Wait, you did it! <clears throat> See you now. <laughs> like, I can make bad puns and play Bunky Ball at the same time. Sio's great at bad puns and they make me laugh so hard. I am pretty good at bad they, puns. As in Sio and also the puns. I Thank just you. needed to clarify that I. It was both. Holy shit, this song sounds amazing! <laughs> yes. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Rev, how are you? It's great to see you again. Yeah, hope you're doing well. Okay, there we go. It's not really that hard. I don't know why I sh why that one kind of kicked my ass so much, but that's okay. This one's pretty tricky because you have to have a certain amount of momentum to be able to actually like climb up these slopes. Played it during my birthday stream a couple months ago, um, and was pleasantly surprised how much fun I was having to the point where I actually did a full playthrough of it. I actually probably should upload that to YouTube too now that I think about it. I forgot to actually fully finish that. Yeah. Okay, good. We're out of cross floors. I'll meet you at the cross floors. Meet you at the cross floors, cross floors. You knew. Woo! Whoa! Damn that would have been cool. Well, that's basically going to be the strat for this level, so we'll try it again. You're going way through. Because I don't want to actually try to ride this saw. That seems nope, like a pain in the terrible. ass. And you got to go with it, not against it, I feel like. Woo! <laughs> I got way too excited about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think you can ever get too excited about someone's gameplay, but like it was loud. Have any of us gotten tendonized so bad that your whole hand goes numb and the next day feels better? Um, I haven't gotten tendonitis, but I did actually have to go to the doctor, like, when I had a data entry job because I had this, like, weird tingling thing in my arm and we thought it might have been, like, carpal tunnel for a minute. I remember that. It went away after that job, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so don't get that job. Noted. Yeah. I mean, I will say, <clears throat> data entry got me very good at typing, but... I'm okay with being mediocre at typing. Yeah. I got like 70 words a minute. That's not bad. That's what was also, I, 71? I was going to say, that's also not mediocre. It's really but. not bad at all. I might not be 100 like some unicorns in this room, but... You had ulnar neuropathy? Dang, that sounds mm. rough. <clears throat> I don't know if I know what that is, but it sounds painful if it has such a fancy name, honestly. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with the ulnar nerve that's right here. Mm. Because that was actually the thing that I was worried about with uh, my one attempt. Oh. Rev, I'm a side sleeper too. I definitely get it. Also, hi yeah. Jinky. Hey Jinky, how's it going? How are you? How are you? Um, I actually had to start sleeping with a pillow um, between my legs again because I was sli I wasn't well, I sleeping know why without you it. Weren't using one because it's a big pillow. It is. We can get you a different pillow. Well, the problem is, is I need a pillow that big now because I need something that like will guarantee that my legs don't... Yeah. Why don't you try the one in that pink pillowcase I that I it, had on the I chair? I think it's too thin. You don't like it? Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I just... If there's a way we can find you one that's smaller and easier to move around in the bed, um, but still has the support that you need. Yes. I cut that too close. <laughs> Uh, yeah, stand-up desks are very ergonomic. Uh, you have to 
So our office actually prefers sit-stand desks because you get kind of the benefits of both desks. If you need to sit, but yeah. also if you need to stand. Um, <laughs> but if you're choosing actually between just a 100% sitting desk and a 100% standing desk, I think standing desks are supposed to be better overall. I'm just going to die and try again. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't personally like it. Um, there are gonna there are a couple of times where I'm at work while I'll just like stand up and send an email just because I can't sit down anymore. Standing but. and typing makes me feel like I'm trying to like do something fast and I don't want to sit down to do it because I need to do something else. It makes me feel like I'm back at Toys R Us, looking up an order behind the customer service yeah, desk. Yeah, that's fair. I never really had a typey job, I guess, uh, for like retail stuff. I did more food stuff. Yeah. Where there was like entering orders and stuff, but that was more like navigating a menu I could never fucking figure out than it was like inputting things. Alright, y'all. This things. stage is throw Hello Kitty at the side of the wall and hope she doesn't get launched out of one of these holes up top. Okay. No! Um. <laughs> I, I didn't get launched out of the hole at the top, but I got launched out of the hole at the end, which was unexpected, because that's never happened before. But, okay, let's see if we can somehow copy that angle exactly again. Probably not, because that's a hard angle to take. We need a bun yawn counter for this stream. We're at, like, 20 plus, I think. Yeah, <laughs> been very yawning. Look, don't judge me. I had a long stream earlier. It was hype. I was talking lots. You're a little cutie. And we had a flex roll last night, so we're sleepy. Okay, so uh, that right there was a pretty good example of moving the stage to my benefit, which y'all didn't actually get to see, but basically as I was coming out of that corkscrew, every time I had uh, not moved the camera there, basically, um, we kind of flew off the edge oh. because we couldn't slow down enough. Exclamation yawn. <laughs> Um, so basically I was able to take advantage of the stage by moving the camera in a way that actually moved the stage. Um, and by doing that, we were able to kind of move the goal in a way to stop us. That's interesting, j -Dub. And honestly, it makes sense why they're like contagious, quote unquote, I guess. I appreciate that they gave us such chill music for these like harder stages, because it might have been all. Work? Did I do the right command? Yes. yes! Good job, bun. From scratch too. Oh yeah. Normally I copy paste <sighs> it, but I know fucking s count. I know it's not s count. It's dollar sign, but like I remember it as s count. Okay. All right. So welcome to air hockey, y'all. Uh, as y'all could tell, uh, the stage is playing air hockey with the goal. Oh no, I have to burp and yawn! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do either one! Ah, I'm broken! I'm broken internally! Ah! <laughs> This is what bun's dress made of. <laughs> She's not done either. Bundy indeed. Spam Bundy. Alright. So this stage is pretty cool. Um, this is where you <laughs> So I have to build up momentum by run constantly running through this teleporter that is here. And you can kind of see it right there. Basically, I'm kind of uh, using like a portal 1, portal yeah. 2 trick. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, to build up a bunch of speed, which you can see in the bottom <laughs> left corner. And then as I'm building up speed, I'm making it so I'm able to basically make this jump eventually. After that, because I'm getting up to like 130 but I'm losing a little bit of speed on the straightaway. I don't know, it's not playing it, so hopefully this is correct. 
No! <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting to make that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank you, bud. All right, y'all. Welcome to Strata. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just chill on this screen so y'all can see the bullshit Stop. that we're about to go through here. So basically, I have to go up this ramp and Wait, then... it wasn't sneeze. It was yawn. Well, that, I guess that's why we named it Yerp. I almost got the green goal, y'all. I was so scared there. Holy shit. Rotating around. <laughs> hey, Vac. Uh, it makes your palms a little sweaty, but it's a pretty fun game otherwise. Like, honestly, even though this game is hard and can be stressful at times, uh, it feels a lot like Kaizo, honestly, where, like, you kind of just get into a mode where you know exactly what you need to do and it's sort of just doing it. Which uh, is pretty satisfying. Hope you're doing well though. Yo, nice. Okay. <laughs> Vac, actually, fun fact. When we were on our way home uh, from work today, uh, we saw a couple of dogs. Thank you for the G's. Uh, we saw a couple dogs on our walk and we saw one like right near the end of our drive that looked exactly like Weedy. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed this stage starts with a full square, and then before the stage starts, two of the things just fucking blow up, and then the rest of the stage just like falls into chaos because of it. <laughs> Too many channels is basically the future. I, I mean, true, but I don't know. Uh, just for our personal tastes, it seemed to make a little bit more sense to... Uh, still have discords and stuff and if we ever needed to combine them at some point in the future we could but oh my god this stage okay this stage is a pain in the ass and i forgot that this was an expert honestly i thought this was a master um but basically for getting this stage correct i need to pretty much do the start perfect every time to be able to get up and ride this platform on the correct cycle. Damn it, okay. So basically that, controlling the landing here is very difficult, but down to 123 already? Jesus. <laughs> GG. How long did your first playthrough take? Like 30 hours? Could not get your hand. Oh my god, same J-Dub. I... So, I've been avoiding talking about it because today was kind of just extremely stressful, but uh, taking over for my manager, basically, while my manager was out uh, meant that I had a lot of stuff to take care of that I don't normally get to take care of, which was an interesting uh, shift in responsibilities, I guess. But, very stressful. First playthrough is 26 hours, second was 4.30. I wish that my second playthroughs of stuff would cut off that much time. <laughs> I also forgot that this stage was an expert too. God damn. No! No! <laughs> okay. So I think what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to catch the wrong... Uh, the wrong, like spindle I guess on the third one it's getting late but you don't want to go to bed I'm sorry to hear that monsty I uh 
I've not been sleeping well, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to bed tonight to hopefully get some amount of sleep. Okay, let's wait. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but that's okay, I think. That's still okay. That's still not okay. Okay. I'm trying to mostly just when I'm sitting on the couch and stuff, make sure I'm sitting better. So if you see Bun calling me out on it, it's because I asked her to. Well, and also because she cares about me, obviously. But. <laughs> Yeah, let's wait till 42. Because that basically lines me up in a way that I could basically just go straight. Okay. 42 is the key. Nice. Alright. <laughs> basically back. <sighs> Free throw! Alright, this stage is cool. I actually really like this stage. So, the gimmick of this stage is that you get launched up by this little piece of ground, right? And there's a green goal, a yellow goal, and a red goal, or blue goal, green goal, and red goal. Well, colors. <laughs> so I'm just going to start. Oh, I went too far. So again, I don't want to skip any of these stages because I kind of just want to show them all off. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go nice and gentle. Oh, almost. Okay. So it's like right here. Oh, that was too far. Okay. It's like right on the edge then. It's like this tile basically. Okay. I think it's right here. Okay. I don't think I have enough time to do this, but I'm going to give it one more shot. Nope. Okay. Like shack. Are you goddamn kidding me? <laughs> I get it on the timeout. Come on. <laughs> Everything's fine. God damn it. Now I don't know the angle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we got one more good shot at this. I realized at the last second that my angle was off and corrected it just in time. Shoutouts to the party ball actually saving me there. <laughs> Thank you for another Europe clip. There's going to be a lot of those from the stream and I'm all about it. Pendulums. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. So this stage is actually the first stage. Um, it's kind of interesting to note because I guess you can't really super see it behind this layout. Uh, but like behind my head around here-ish is actually a mini map. And you can kind of see the stage actually moving on the mini map. And that specific transition right there where like that last pendulum swinging out um, is actually pretty hard. So like let me hide the webcam and you can actually see there's like a mini map right here. And as I move forward, you can actually see the stage like swinging under the mini map. Um, so you're actually kind of able to use the um, visuals from that to be able to get through here. Okay. So the interesting thing that I really like about Monkey Ball 2, uh, just in a design sense, uh, this game has both Monkey Ball 1, Monkey Ball 2, um, and a bunch of actually other stages, uh, but it has the first two monkey balls. So you actually kind of like get to directly compare the level design between them. Um, 
And it's very interesting to me that Monkey Ball 1 is definitely more of the arcade style levels where they're like really short precision based stuff. Whereas Monkey Ball 2 definitely has... Whew. Monkey Ball 2 definitely has a lot more moving in it. Um, and you can definitely tell they got a lot more comfortable with like motion based and physics based stuff. Speaking of, actually, another stage I forgot was fucking in at the end of Expert. So, we're on top of a very big spiral right here with a portal right here. If you take the portal, you just immediately die because the portal's at the end of a very awkward spiral. Uh, so, get your CO Kid rolls out because we're about to have Hello Kitty go horizontal here for a sec in an effort to make her go vertical. This is not the stage that CO Kid Roll was made from, but it's basically the same thing. So right now we are barreling down the side of this like spiral thing that's underneath the stage. Similar to CO Kid Roll actually, we're going to be using the centrifugal force basically of our momentum uh, to keep us from actually falling while building enough speed to hit the portal at the end and then basically with enough speed at the portal at the end we'll be able to go flying out of there and jump across Fuck. it's always that last turn that stuff starts getting a little dicey i guess i could try to so the problem is you can't really slow down before the last turn because then you don't have the speed to actually clear the gap you, you need a pretty decent amount of speed. Not necessarily to get through the spiral. Like, you can actually get through the spiral, like, fairly slowly. Um, but to actually get the jump is hard. <sighs> Alright, let's go. That, that qualifies as a palm sweaty stage, by the way, for those that are keeping track at home. <laughs> Thanks for the Gs. Anytime you, like, don't have ground under you for a large amount of the stage, it's a sweaty stage. This is honestly just a cool stage. Uh, so this giant-ass cylinder that's rotating is actually a 3D maze. And you're able to basically navigate your way through it. Fuck, that wasn't even fast enough. Ethics are optional? Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of the reason I like Monkey Ball, though. Because Monkey Ball was my first taste of game designers not holding back. Because, <clears throat> like, the story mode of Monkey Ball 2... I don't know if I ever even beat the story mode of Monkey Ball 2 because of how hard World 8 was. And that's the first time, really, that I've played a game that I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm, like, good enough to beat this. Like, there's been plenty of games that I, like, haven't beaten because, yo, nice. There's been plenty of games that I haven't beaten that I just, like, didn't want to beat or whatever. But typically, like, if I want to beat a game, I can kind of beat it. And Monkey Ball growing up was always one of those games that, like, I just couldn't do for some reason. <laughs> like, I'd get pretty far into it, but... Uh, yo, nice. Okay, so that's expert. Sort of just talk through that stage, but that stage is actually a pain in the ass if you don't get it right away because that snake just moves around everywhere. Um, it's supposed to look like you're able to like jump up the ramp and then ride it, but you can't. <laughs> Every time you hit the ramp, you just go flying off. So you sort of have to cheese it and just run underneath it and jam yourself in there. Gotta give the thumbs up for the clip, but nice. We beat expert. Cool.